Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Selenium Web Driver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the elements which are resizable using the actions class. So let's begin. Try to understand what are the resizable elements and then we will see how we can automate those elements. In order to understand about the resizable elements, let's go to the browser here and in browser search for jQuery resizable resizable demo and you need to go to this first url which is jQueryUI.com. resizable click on this one and it will land on this particular page and here you can see that we have this box here and this box is resizable which means that we can change the size of this box and how we can change the size of this box we need to pick from the left corner and change the size accordingly now this is something which we need to automate but before that just let's inspect this element and see where it is so if I go here and you can see that it's under the iframe here right this means that first we need to switch to the frame or iframe then we would be able to automate this one okay now go to the eclipse here and let's create a new class here and let me create a new class go to the new class naming it as automating resizable element element we need to select the main method check here click on finish and before we start uh, we would be copying some basic line of course from here let me copy this one now paste it here first uh, we need to change the url go to the website copy the url here and change the url so after changing the URL, the first thing which we need to do is that we need to switch to the frame. We already know how we can switch that. So basically it would be driver dot switch to dot frame. So there are multiple ways here. We can go with the index. We can go with the name or ID or we can go with the web element as well. So if I go back to the browser here and let me inspect this again and here uh, we can see that we don't have any kind of uh, ID or name right so this means that we cannot uh, use ID or name in order to switch the frame what we can do is that we have two options left either we can go with the index so if we talk about this particular page so this is on the zeroth index because there is no other iframe and we can confirm this by using the controller and if i search for iframe so you can see that there is one of one here so iframes usually start from zero index so if i using the index zero i can switch to this one and the other way is to using the web element so we can use either of those and the easiest is basically with the index here so dot frame and go with the zero index and that's it now we are basically able to switch the frame now we are inside the frame and inside the frame now we have this box and as we discussed that we need that corner side right we need this corner area right in order to resize this one okay so we need a element or locator for this one right click on this one click on inspect and here just go here and um, so this is basically a div and resizable this one and this is very easy 
to automate this one using the xpath and any other locator as well so we what we can do is that we can use the xpath here in a very simple way for this particular diagonal one and let me go here and go to my extensions because the uh, extension we should use the extension such as the selector sub and going to settings here let me search for the extensions and we have the selector sub let me enable this one and now i would reload this page here and we will see i think we need to close the browser before it got activated so let me close the browser here and let's open this one again and in the website and now on the right corner select inspect and here now you will see the selector sub and you can see that we have these different locators available which are unique in nature right so let's go with uh, this relative x path but let's ensure that we are actually targeting to the this right corner arrow okay and let me copy this one and let's go here and driver dot find element by dot x path and we need to provide the x path here okay and after providing the x path what we need to do is that we would be saving this into our web element so that we can utilize that in our actions class so simply what we need to do is that web element and let me name it as resizable equals to this one now we need to import the web element from here okay cool after identifying this corner now what we need to do we need to create object of actions class actions obj equals to new actions and we need to pass the driver here and we also need to import this actions class click on this one now after creating the object we can use the methods of this class so obj dot and we have this drag and drop right but which drag and drop we should use here the second drag and drop by is something which we should use here because here we can provide the source element which is this resizable here and we will provide some offset in terms of integer y and integer x so this is, would be something where it will drop the element right so we'll be using this one here and resizable here and then let me say it's 300 or let me do it to 50 so the dragging would be like on the x it would be 300 on on the y axis it would be 50. once we are done with that what we need to do we need to build we need to now let me save this one and run this one and see what happens right click on this one go to run as run as java program got some problem here let me go up and say session notification could not start not start okay this version of chrome driver only supports the chrome version 1 or 3 and if i go here and let me check this is a very common problem and let me check what browser we are using right now so about so we are using right now 105 and the chrome driver we are using is basically compatible with 103 right so for that 
Chrome driver download. We need to ensure that we have a driver, but let's wait because it's updating. So we might need to have a latest version of this one. So let me go here and go to this web driver, Chrome driver here. And this is something which is compatible with 106, right? And it's already updating, so it will be updated to 106. So just wait for a moment here. And also, meanwhile, let me download this one here. And this one from here, because I'm using a Windows. Let me show this one here. Let me add this one, show into the folder. And let me extract here and let me copy the driver from here and let me see what is my path of driver. So it's D Selenium tutorial and under the tutorials we have a Chrome driver and here I need to place this updated file. So let me go here into D Selenium tutorials then I have this one and here I need to replace this file. That's it. And now if I see if it got updated, so relaunch and see what is the latest version. Either it's 106 or 105. Okay, it's 105. So what I need to do is that I should go with 105 then. So let me download this one. I thought it should be getting updated to 106, but it didn't. Let me show into the folder, go here and extract this one. And for extraction, so it was three, right? Here we got the three one. Okay. Let me copy this one again, go into my tutorials and Chrome driver and here we need to paste this one. Are done now. Okay. So we are good to go. And let me close the browser here. And let's save this file again. And let's run this one. And now see what happens. Ideally, it should work now. Yes, it is working now. It is going to the website. And here you can saw that. Uh, it got resized. Now let's change some values here, like to from 50 to 100, so that we can have a different resize this time. And now go here, run as, and let's see. this time it will be resizing to some different. Yeah, you see this. This point is basically in terms of. 300 and 100 and if i go here and let's change it to 200 or let me change it to 100 and 100 and see what happens that's how actually you know we can see how much we need to resize here and square resizable here it's 100 and 100 here so that's how we can automate any kind of a resizable element using the actions class and we need to ensure that we would be using this drag and drop by method where you can provide this offset of in terms of x-axis and y-axis here thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial